Hey babies, we are jumping right into this video. As you guys can see, today's video is in collaboration with Tanish Hair. I hope that I'm saying that right. I absolutely love their units. I've worked with them multiple times in the past. So if you have not had a chance to check out those videos, definitely make sure to do that. Um, as you guys can see, I love their packaging because right out of the gate, you know exactly what it is that you ordered. So for example, once you open up that box, if for any reason it's different than what you expected, obviously go ahead and contact the company and of course they will get you situated but first things first the units do not come pre-plugs or pre-bleached uh, or at least this one didn't so i did go ahead and uh, pretty much prepare my bleach mixture which you guys saw i'm using um that bw bleaching agent and then also the uh, clearall uh developer to go along with it i did use i believe a 30 volume developer allowed that to sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and uh yeah I pretty much like for the consistency to be extremely thick that way you don't have to worry about it seeping on any parts of the hair or just getting really really messy so definitely make sure that you get it to a thick consistency if you guys need a more detailed video on how to bleach knots I do have a few on my channel um, I'm not sure how updated they are to be completely honest just because I've kind of been stepping away from wigs these days uh, but I did want to show you just really quickly the first thing to do once you get your unit especially if you are a beginner or you're just doing this at home and you're wanting to learn um, how to really take your unit up a notch so I did go ahead and use uh, some of the shimmer lights purple shampoo just to get really rid of any like additional brassiness it won't go like it's only gonna do but so much but <laughs> um, I find it a little bit helpful just to get rid of some of the brassiness then I'm taking some of my Olaplex which I don't even know why I use so expensive like products on my wigs I guess it makes sense right but at the same time you don't have to go this hard okay <laughs> Olaplex is like OZ expensive so definitely make sure just the shampoo and condition with whatever you feel comfortable with you guys can see that the lace is HD transparent and um, yeah this is what we are working with now obviously if you want to take your bleach knots up a level and you know really make sure that those roots are more blonde you can but for me just to preserve the um, the hair and you know with all the shedding and just things that are gonna happen naturally knowing that more than likely I will not be wearing this unit for too too long and it may end up being a resale unit i did not want to over bleach the knots or just do too much because of course the hair naturally sheds but i did want to kind of make this unit glueless um i am going to show you how to fully install the unit using glue in this video but in any event if that is not what you want and you want to see how to of course get your units to fit a little bit more snug all that i'm doing is adding a elastic band on the inside and voila so so once you got that situated, of course, you always want to try on your units, make sure that it's fitting from ear to ear. Um, these units definitely are able to be customized as much as possible. So if you do have a larger, um, I guess, forehead space, then of course, it may work for you straight out of the gate. If not, don't be shy to use the scissors and just get rid of some of that um, extra lace and like hair that of course is there um, to kind of help you out. So um, I am taking a little bit of my ghost bond glue allowing that to get kind of tacky and then of course once it's clear go ahead and pull the lace down over that glue and you guys can see I'm just kind of using the comb to really make sure that no hairs are like glued down in any weird weird I can't say that <laughs> weird spots or anything and then of course just taking some scissors to get rid of the lace so you guys can already see from here how nice everything has laid you guys got a brief like when I say brief really brief um shot of me kind of tweezing out the unit just to teeny tiny bit i try not to over tweeze my units i usually do not go too hard and that's just because i prefer a kind of fuller hairline i know some people really like to kind of take those um you know the tweezing to an extreme like and for me uh, it's not really my vibe i would rather um have less <laughs> and so in this case i am just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my cream of nature mousse to kind of style up the um baby hair i found with curly hair it just looks better to me um and so that's what i'm doing now you can do any style you like if you want to do some swirls and curls you can if not that is okay i'm just taking the scissors to kind of create the look of course um determining determining making the decision i'm not sure 
Um, and nevertheless, I'm just deciding how um, short I want them to be cut and then just kind of doing a nice swoop. So by the end of this, I did go ahead and actually change the style of the baby hairs, at least on one side. <laughs> and you guys will see why in just a teensy tiny bit. Um, for the most part, I'm not too, too crazy about overly styled baby hair, but I am going to take some of my Gotta Be Glue spray um, just to go ahead around the base. So not necessarily on the actual hair itself but closer to the lace just to really really make sure that that lace goes absolutely nowhere in the meantime we're going to go ahead and kind of melt this so i actually use an elastic band you can use a hair scarf whatever you feel comfortable with um just to kind of hold that down for the time being and so now because the unit is wet you guys can see i did install it wet now it's not dripping wet but it was a good amount of moisture in the hair i wanted to go ahead and actually use a diffuser to get the hair extremely dry without like disturbing the curl pattern too too much i didn't have the time to let this air dry so i definitely wanted to go ahead and get this done so i'm actually going to be taking um my chi blow dryer just to achieve the style you can use whatever you need to no big deal there and then i decided i wanted to do a side part so once you kind of have your um i guess positioning middle part side part all together all that i'm doing here is actually adding a little bit more water to my hair just so that all the curls are uniform then i'm actually going to go ahead and take some of my cream of nature mousse to kind of set the style a little bit just to make it a little bit easier for me so you guys will see that i add a little bit of that throughout the hair i did not go heavy because you don't want the hair to be crunchy not that this mousse ever really gets to that point it definitely provides like a nice shine and you guys can see the hair on its own it has a beautiful luster super duper soft bouncy flowy um the only shedding that i got was from cutting off the sides of that lace around my ears but so far so good i didn't have to worry about too much tangling um and you guys are really able to see how fast the hair is drying um obviously i did cut up this video <laughs> but the drying time was about 20 to 25 minutes so not too too bad if you're needing to kind of you know grab something and go uh i feel like the water wave deep wave those styles are always reliable because you don't really have to do much and if you need to tie this down at night all that you have to do is just put it into maybe two to three um you know big chunky braids or plaits whatever you want to call them and uh, you'll pretty much be able to go now i did notice at the end of me kind of blow drying everything out or diffusing it I should say there were some areas that still needed just a little bit more love and I didn't want to re-wet them um, and that just happens because sometimes the hair is weighed down in more areas and so of course it doesn't really have time to kind of create that uh, wavy shape to dry completely which is fine so you guys can see I'm just taking a wand curl just to go all over the hair and using that to kind of smooth out some of the roots a little bit I do love the volume so I didn't make it like a, a big super big deal to take like my hot comb and do this i wanted it to still have lots of volume shape and kind of mimic the natural uh curl pattern i should have used maybe about a half an inch smaller of a wand curl but this was fine you guys will see i actually end up going throughout like some of the bottom areas of the hair just to help blend everything just so that it's not like you know you have these deeper waves and then super small beach waves so i went all throughout just to kind of blend everything just to make sure that we are all on the same page Page. and um yeah for the most part i was happy the hair did not have a smell obviously you guys saw that i just washed it but <laughs> even before that it didn't and they did actually give me a ton of goodies completely forgot to show those in this video but they sent me so many freaking gifts <laughs> along with the actual hair like from wig caps to clips combs edge brushes all that good stuff and that's what i'm loving about wig companies nowadays it's like they're not just sending you the wig so you may spend two or three hundred dollars on a unit but you also know that you're going to get everything that you need to pretty much install it and that is definitely comforting so you guys can see this is where i kind of changed up the baby hair just a, a little bit <laughs> or a lot of bit. this is the style that i prefer now you guys can see i'm like eh, should i do the other side that way honestly nobody was gonna see it so you decide 
whether you want a little bit of baby hair or you want a lot um yeah you get a chance to kind of see what I did with both so of course I needed to finish the look so I did go ahead and put on just a teensy tiny bit of makeup y'all it's that time of the month so I'm getting like hormonal acne Ugh, I hate wearing makeup when I have that you know situation going on y'all are probably like Chrissy girl shut up like okay your makeup looks fine but anywho if you know you know uh so far so good I really don't have too many complaints about the hair I'm just complaining about my makeup of course uh but yeah so nevertheless I'm gonna go ahead and kind of brush this out just a tiny bit I'm um, using my fingers to kind of help fluff and this is pretty much the look you guys absolutely loved it if you did want to install this gluelessly you could have um or just using the gotta be glue spray you really don't have to do much but this is giving vacation ready beach ready okay Listen, can you do deep wave in a, in the winter time? Uh, I guess so, right? Like, I don't know. And deep wave actually looks really, really nice, fully straightened and uh, with a few like body wave curls. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing a video on it, but I'm just giving you that tip because the curls usually hold up really, really nicely on hair that naturally comes curly, just like natural hair. You guys know how that works. But anywho, I love you guys so much. Stay pretty, leave any comments or questions down below and I will see See you in my next video. Bye, babies.